Um, we got you a special guest. It's been a while. We gotta get you uh, get to you, man. Get to you. Get to you. I don't want to waste your time too much. For the people that don't know, Jack, tell them what is your YouTube channel and what is your content. All right. Well, besides just exploring bow ties in my free time, I create ferret videos. These videos include lots of ferrets and ferret-related content, like educational stuff. And if you like seeing ferrets each week, well then, I've got something for you. I also do Sorry. gaming content and stuff like that. If anyone's interested, it should be in the channels page of my uh, Captain Jack Ferret page, which you can go to by youtube.com forward slash cpt jack ferret. Oh, so, so what do you play on there? Uh, pretty much everything, depending on the day. Okay. All right. Um, Nick, oh, hey, you had a question. <laughs> no, I was going to say, like, so, you know, I remember we talked a couple of days ago, and I was kind of like, yeah, so, you know, you do a bunch of ferret videos. Like, what's, like, the main thing? And, you know, like, are you going to branch out to anything? But I guess you do gaming stuff, too, so that's pretty awesome. Yeah, well, the, the, the ferret videos are my most popular channel. And so I I hope with that growth, things and my other things I do, like, say, the gaming videos, my voice acting career... Maybe sports broadcast, broadcasting or esports broadcasting, one of those. Do you uh, do like ferret video games? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm just fucking rich. Wow. And so, it eventually, I'll, I hope that the popularity of Captain Jack Ferret will be enough to where it can support opening a ferret shelter because that would be just not not only cute but just awesome because I'd be able to help support all the ferrets who don't have a home. Which is so really you, admirable, man. Really admirable. But go ahead, Nick. Were you, were you trying to, like, do, like, a huge series about it? Because I'm looking through all your, like, history and everything. You have, like, pages of videos. Like, did you just, like, make a couple of ferret videos? Like, you know what? I want to do this. Or, like, you know, what was, like, the premise when you first got into it? The premise was that since ferrets are just... When they play, they play so strangely. It's like you can't, you can't not put a camera on them and not come out with some interesting footage, because they'll jump around, they'll steal stuff, they'll uh, cuddle sometimes, and it's, they're just fun to watch. And so I thought people needed weekly ferret content, high quality ferret content, and that because I, when I when I, uh, when I was looking at getting a ferret, I ran out of ferret content really quick. Mm -hmm. and most of the ferret content I found was not exactly that high quality. So I wanted to fill that niche of weekly content and quality content because those weren't being filled by pretty much anyone. Wait. No, but Skull in the chat, he says something about how like eSports equals like no money, but the thing is, like that's why I, I like this guy because he's not looking into it for the money, obviously, because I'm pretty sure ferrets aren't trending right now. <laughs> not right now. Man. Oh, do you no, think Oh, what game did you recently play? Um, Kat, cause, uh, I think a question, I think it was called too. What was the game that you just recently played? Uh, it was a com it, the, it was a Ark Survival Evolved with another YouTuber by the name of Inbro. We we're, do we're doing a uh, 12 YouTuber series right now where it's 12 YouTubers on one server uh, with uh, some people for some people for the YouTubers, you know, just have your teams and such. It's a lot of fun. What was one of your biggest inspirations behind your YouTube channel, Jack? Really, the ferrets themselves. Oh, just the, the ferrets? Yeah. I, so you had them before you started the YouTube channel? Yeah, so, well, I had Jack for about a day before I started the YouTube channel because the next day I was like, I want to show the world my ferret. Because they're fun. <laughs> That could be a euphemism for your dick or something, man. <laughs> That's what I've been thinking the whole time. <laughs> well, Dude, you know, I love it. Were you a fan of ferrets that. because you watched the movie Beastmaster? Oh, no. I actually learned about that a couple months afterwards. Okay. Yeah, ferrets were really, really big during that time for the movie. Everybody mm -hmm. wanted one as, as a uh, pet. And then kindergarten cop, same thing happened. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not sure I really enjoy most of the... Uh, star appearances with ferrets. <laughs> there was one, I think, with Le it was not Lena Dunham, what's her face? There was an appearance with Ryan Gosling, I think, and they just mistreated the ferret really badly. Uh, oh, no. So even even if it is a fake, that still sets a bad precedent for the people who are going to get ferrets because they think ferrets are okay with that kind of movement. 
That's and humans are very small that's creatures. Not, that's not a ferret instructional video. That's a movie with Jake Gyllenhaal making faces. Yeah, <laughs> but still, people are going to get ferrets after that because they think it looks cute, and they're going to well, see Julian. Jake Gyllenhaal just know. throwing this thing around. <laughs> when they're little creatures, it's like it's like you take a poodle and you try and rough it around. It's going to break. Uh, but Jack, uh, final question, man. Where do you see your YouTube channel going? And people, and post in the chat for people that don't want to check you out too. So post in the chat. Um. Well, I I hope the channel gets uh, more more viewership, more subscribers, more patron supporters, mm -hmm. and eventually opening up a fair shelter. I kind of, I kind of had an idea that once we get the ferret shelter open, we could then have a live stream every now and then with the ferret at the shelter. Uh, yeah, that would be kind of cool. Yeah. Be, you know what? I might not like animals all that much, but your um, your attempt to you know create a shelter for ferrets and stuff like that. Who knows? It could probably if it gets big enough, it could be for other animals. So that's really admirable, man. That's really. Admirable. I actually want like a camera just following you around, just your life with these ferrets. Like that would be hilarious. I mean, that would be. <laughs> <laughs> the Captain Jack Ferret uh, reality TV show yeah, coming to HBO. Like, like, oh shit, he's shot on the floor again. No, oh. like, no. <laughs> I watched that all day. Well, I think I think if we did do a show, it would be more about rehabilitating abused ferrets. Do you like mm -hmm. seeing you know, because you, you've got these, uh, you've got you've got these shows where they really rehabilitate all these abused dogs who are very aggressive and bite, and then you you see them later, and they're so cute and cuddly. You could do the same thing. No, Jack, I don't want to take up too much of your time. We're about to start talking about E3, and I know you probably know a little about, so you can bounce off if you want to, but thank you for coming by, man. It's been lovely oh, having you. Thank you for having me. This has been a no, fun no. time. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you so much, man. Everybody give uh, Captain Jack a round of applause. A round of applause. I'm clapping, but not too loud. I'm not going to be asleep. Yeah, exactly. You're awesome, man. So, Jack, yeah, thank you so much, man. Don't be a stranger. Don't be a stranger. This crossover does not have to end here. So... It really does not. So does that mean a formal invitation to future? Hell hey, to the yes. If you want to, man. If y'all want to, if the people like you, um, you come back. You talk about more ferrets. Um, actually have Gonzo because he actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're up to do. I'm just keep going. I'm mute myself. I'm mute myself. Well, I don't yeah, even know. The only thing that you should do with your YouTube channel is just be more consistent with um, uh, putting up videos. If you have a video up. Like once every two weeks or something, then you can't have people continuously coming back to like check you out. But then sometimes people forget, and then they either uh, uh, um, unsubscribe or they don't really feel a need to, uh, you know, tweet or Facebook you. So be more consistent with them, and then you should do okay. Just keep it going. I try to maintain once a week. Yeah, try, yeah, just do that, or or just a little bit more. You know, the crazy guys do it. Almost every single day, which is nuts. But oh yeah, I, I can't, I can't manage course. that right now. Yeah, but yeah. just keep at it, and you will be fine. So, all right, that's good, man, Jack. But uh, yeah, Jack, man, thank you for coming on, man. Good, good points, good point, Porno Chris, good points. But yeah, Jack, thank you for coming on, man. With that, can we have a conversation about Islam? Oh, oh, shit. 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 Oh, Ha <laughs> <laughs>